Hi guys, good to see you again, welcome back to the channel. Well, as you can see, I brought the trusted 400 Prime out today for a bit of fun. <laughs> well, a bit of a challenge more than fun. As some of you are no doubt aware, before Covid, I worked within the sports photography industry, mainly football and rugby and athletics, and of course, once uh, lockdown one, if you like, kicked in, this has basically been stood gathering dust on my sideboard in the office. Then I've looked at it several times and thought, I just wonder how I'd get on in the forest with the 400. And I've looked at it and left it and looked at it and left it and I thought, last night, I'm gonna head out and have a go with it. And it might just give me a really nice shallow depth of field for, for a certain composition. Obviously, I'm gonna to have to look way ahead of where I'm walking around for that composition. Could be a little bit abstract, I'm not sure, but I just thought it'd be really interesting and a bit of fun to bring it out and try and keep it on the camera and not swap for another lens and do a bit of cheating and just see what sort of composition I can find. So we're in the forest again, so let's go and have a look what we can find. Well, it certainly made me look for different subjects with this long 400mm focal length. I've just come across this, this oak that's clinging on to the last few leaves. They're obviously all they're nice, nice yellow and brown tones. I say they're still clinging on, there's three or four on each different branch. Now it's proving really difficult to get focused because as you can imagine, there's a lot of weight. I should have a more substantial unit holding on to the, the, tripod, the, the uh, 400 really. The tripod's a little bit weak. So there is quite a lot of wobble as you can imagine, but I focused manually best I can on the back of the screen. I'm using the touch screen on a 10 second shutter delay to activate the shutter, so that's working okay. I can just gently dab the screen and it's giving me 10 seconds. Um, I have been waiting for the sun to come out, but it's not showing up, because obviously with a bit more light, I'm down to six, I'm, I'm, I'm on 600 ISO at the moment, ISO 600, and I'm at uh, F4, just to keep a little, bit of, a little bit of depth, obviously, not too much. I think 2.8 on these three leaves, two of the leaves would be out of focus and soft with it being on the 400 with that real shallow depth. So I've gone to F4, I'm at uh, 250th, which is okay if there's a little, it is a little bit windy here, but so these leaves are blowing about a bit, but it looks quite sharp on the screen. So I say it's something really different and I thought I might end up looking at some abstract stuff, but um, so I'm gonna wait for that sun to come out, but I've, I have taken a few frames already. It's still quite, quite it's, it's nicely, it's nice and dark at the, behind, behind the leaves so it's really emphasizing the yellowness and the browns in them leaves there is a little bit of light coming through the tree to the the left hand side of the frame which just obviously it's really soft because it's the f4 f4 and it's obviously it's well back the light that's coming through that pine tree so there is a little bit of light in the top right but i think it just adds to it and you've got some nice nice light on the branch where the leaves are hanging on to so it's certainly a different frame it's a bit abstract but it is what it is and uh, it's what I've found so uh, I'm going to wait a bit see if the sun does come out There's no, I'm in no rush and uh, it'll either be the frame that I took earlier or a, a lighter frame with more yellow I'll pop it up now guys We just had a hailstorm out of nowhere or what crikey i've just found a bit of a composition again a bit of an ab abstract one i'll go into it in a minute and the heavens opened and massive hailstones the size of peas coming down only for a couple of minutes but crikey hood up of course no waterproofs because i relied on the forecast being pretty pretty dry this afternoon but anyway i'm a little bit damp but not to worry anyway let's talk about the composition just walking through the forest and again another abstract frame something different and i'm glad i've come out with the 400 because it's making me look for different scenes 
and I've got an oak tree here that's covered in uh, its branches, gnarly branches hanging down from the top of the tree, all covered in lichen, lots of lichen. And as you know, lichen's a nice light coloured lime green and there's some lovely light coming in from the canopy so it's really lit up the, the branches quite well. Again, a bit abstract like I've just said, but certainly a gnarly moody looking frame. So uh, I've managed to get the ISO down to ISO 400 now because there's a lot more light here. 200th of a second at f4 so still a little bit of depth but not too much i don't think i want to go at f2.8 because i'm fairly sure that most of it will be out of focus on the on this this 400 400 mil focal length so i've gone to i've stayed at f4 just to be safe and i don't think much of the the gnarly branches are going to be sharp at that but anyway we shall see but it looks good on the back of the screen so uh yeah another abstracty frame but uh something different and uh, it's making me look for different scenes so uh it's keeping my eye in if you like but uh, anyway hope you like it guys i'll pop it up now I've just positioned myself at a nice little beach avenue. Well, it's got beech trees on the left-hand side and a few pines and oaks on the right, but it's a nice, nice uh, focal length for the 400, probably about 600 yards long. And I've got four, three or four dog walkers just headed down there, so that might give me a nice bit of perspective. I've put it down to f2.8 to give them that really shallow depth of field. I've manually focused about three quarters of the way down. It's just a case of waiting for them to hit that point where I focus now. And, uh, might just make a nice a nice group uh, a silhouette of the group of because there's three dog walkers so just something a bit different and uh it's not actually that light down there i thought i was hoping it was going to be a bit lighter but i might be able to just enhance it a bit in post and make them a nicer silhouette but uh anyway they're not far off where i would where i've set the focus point for so i'm just gonna tap on the screen that's it's actually we've actually got a dog walker coming back as well so they might pass at the same time but It'll just give the frame a bit of perspective, I thought. Something a bit different. I don't usually put uh, composed uh, walkers or dog walkers or horse riders in, in my frame. So, again, something different. And it's something that the 400s made me do, something different. So, uh, we'll see how we get on. But uh, I'm just going to take a few frames now and uh, I'll pop one up. As you can see here, shooting at 2.8 and such a shallow depth of field. And that combined with the dynamic range I have lost the detail in the foreground trees that sort of create the vignette you can see that uh, there's not a lot of detail in the bark at all so uh, perhaps not a great choice shooting this frame at 2.8 but uh, the idea was there well as they got towards where my focus point was I took a few frames and they were a bit soft still so I quickly took it off live view started using the eyepiece and put it on autofocus and just um, manually moved my focus point with the joystick onto the people as they walked down there and made sure they were sharp so yeah not too bad in the end but uh, you've seen the frame now so uh, see if we can find something else we are losing a bit of light now so let's go and see if we can find one more frame well it's proven a lot more difficult than i expected it would be actually i probably came in here a bit too overconfident because when i've been scouting around and i've been shooting on the 70 to 200 i've sometimes thought oh i bet that would look good at a, a, a longer a longer distance from it so that i can get the canopy light you know get the sky out of the frame but it hasn't quite worked out like that um, I've been to two or three different areas like you can see here that I've just been walking around lots of gnarly oak branches and that but it is just a branch with a bit of lichen on it's you know it, it's funny it's been it's been quite a, a big lesson for me really I, I expected I'd see a bit more through that 400 and, and get some really nice you know shallow depth of field frames but it's not really been the case to be fair but um, it's, been, it's been good fun and it's, it's been a challenge and I've enjoyed the challenge. I still had a good scout round and I found a few gnarly looking oaks that I didn't know were here. So it's, it's, it's by far uh, 
a wasted trip, still enjoyed it, it's just nice to be out. Got a bit wet mind and we just had another shower as well, so uh, they weren't forecast, but thanks weatherman. <laughs> but uh, anyway, if you're still watching guys, really appreciate it. So just a good bit of fun bringing the 400 out, but uh, I'll pop it back on the sideboard when I get home and cover it up and I think I'll leave it there. <laughs> get the 70 to 200 back out again. But uh, really interesting and it's been good fun. So thanks ever so much for being patient, guys, and watching. If you could remember to hit the thumbs up, that'd be much appreciated. Let YouTube know that you're enjoying the channel. And uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't yet. That'd be much appreciated too. So thanks ever so much, guys. Take care. Catch up soon. Well, I was just getting packed up and turned round and spotted a deer laying down in the bracken behind me. So... It wasn't a waste of time bringing out the 400 after all. Isn't it funny how things work out? But uh, I'm stood here chatting away and I'm still filming. I've got a few nice frames of it and uh, doesn't seem too, too bothered at all. It's just sat there chewing away. Just had a, another heavy rain shower and it, it was stood up and it just laid down. So uh, managed to get set up, change all my settings around, get a few frames and get some footage. So uh, yeah. All's well that ends well. Pleased I brought the 400 out now after all. But uh, anyway, I'll say bye again guys and I'll leave you with some footage of this deer. Beautiful.